Welcome back to Grey Wolf TV. We are continuing our exploration, I suppose, of the X-Files. This is episode 9 of season 2. So, our team is back together. We've got Scully back after the last episode, which was quite an in-depth portrayal of her fight and struggle with whether she wants to move on or whether it's not her time yet. And who was that nurse? Who no one seems to know. The the nurse who was tending to her said she had no idea who, who it was. And she was looking over her. Uh, I don't know whether we're ever going to get any sort of answer to that. Maybe she's just some sort of guardian angel for that hospital. I have no idea. The good point is the X-Files are rehomed. Scully's back on her feet, more or less. And we're good to go. I hope. So, let's carry on. Episode 9. On the call sheet for them to check in with us at midnight. You try every band? Repeatedly. Okay, what's All that? audio visuals seem to be down. Maybe it's just a satellite glitch. It's different. We thought so too, until we received this from a tracking station in Bend, Oregon. They picked it up about a half an hour ago on emergency frequency. Firewalk is not responding, except for the video feed. I can't get control. I think you Firewalk is that robot. It. Lock camera remote and pan left. Shit. There it is again. Did you see that? Some you saw the shadow, didn't you? Yeah, someone moved. Yeah, but what could be moving around in that kind of heat? I don't know. We're talking about revisiting the very origin of the Earth. Yeah, it's just day to the rest of us. the fire where it all began. A human endeavor more important even than man's exploration of space. Daniel occupies that rare place among scientists where dreams, ambition, and great luck converge. And they haven't responded to any of our calls. Sense. By using remote telemetry, we were able to activate Firewalker's camera. But this is the last thing we expected to discover. The dead man is uh, Phil Erickson, chief seismologist. Oh. What yeah. was that? Don't know. We don't know. How soon can we get up there? Well, we've got a charter flight waiting to take us to Seattle. From there, a helicopter will fly us to Mount Avalon. Side. These instruments are worth millions of project dollars, and I'm accountable to the USGS for every one of them. Hello? Who the hell's done this? Looks like somebody wanted to put this operation permanently out of commission. It does. I'm, I'm Ludwig. I'm Jason Ludwig. I'm the robotics engineer for the descent team. Oh. You always greet people this way? I heard a noise, okay? I thought it was him. I was just trying to protect myself. He saw things. I, I, I mean, he he saw things that you and me we only dream about. This is Peter Tanaka, our systems analyst. Oh, they're not dead. <coughs> Are you the rescue team? No, not we're exactly. with the FBI. FBI? But you're taking us back, right? After we've investigated what happened here. Daniel was sick. He had a bipolar disorder. I think that's what it was. It wasn't a secret, but it's not something he advertised either. Daniel was my thesis advisor at the university. They're practically climbing the walls in there. Well, they've been living in the middle of nowhere for almost a year. One of their team members is dead, probably at the hands of another. You'd have to expect some heightened level of emotional distress. No, but it's more than that. And I'm not sure this guy's in on it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, well, he's dead. I found him. Yeah, he's already dead. He's had his neck snapped. I've been going over Trepkos's work, fragments mostly, but I found several references to a subterranean organism. What are you talking about? An unknown organism existing within the volcano. I haven't found anything yet that describes it in specific terms. Well, then nothing can live in a volcanic interior. The metabolism from hydrogen sulfide into silicon dioxide. Doesn't that suggest a silicon-based life form? But the fundamental building block for every organism known to man is carbon, from, from the smallest bacterium to the largest redwood tree. A silicon-based life form in the deep biosphere has been one of the holy grails of modern science, and maybe Trepko's found it. Mulder, that is science fiction. It's, it's some elaborate construct from a delusional mind. Mulder, whatever evidence Trepko's had, he destroyed. But maybe it wasn't Trepko's who destroyed it. He became withdrawn and paranoid. He locked himself in the lab for three days and wouldn't let any of us in. He stopped taking his pills. 
Lithium carbonate. Yeah, he said that they were polluting his brain. The only reason I even came here was because of him. We murder to dissect. My mind is a tangled knot I can no longer untie. Daily, I fight the urge to sever it completely to stop this descent. There's been a lot of seismic activity lately on the Northeast Rift Zone. Yeah, well, if Treptos hadn't destroyed all our instruments, we might even have learned something from it. <coughs> you feeling all right? He just collapsed after the tremor. Seems pretty bad. This is Agent Scully with the Firewalker team. Come in, search and rescue. Request dispatch of medevac to our location immediately. We have an Asian male, mid-30s, spiking a high-grade fever. What the hell is that? Why is he running? God, for God's sake, what are you doing? No. He needs our help. It's too late. He's transforming into something. Uh. What the hell? <laughs> it appears to be some kind of a fungus. Anything you recognize? It appears as if one of the spores grew inside of Tanaka until it reached reproductive maturity, essentially outgrowing its host. But we won't have conclusive proof until we determine its molecular structure. Come on, Scully. How else do you explain the sand in his lungs? It's the best trace evidence we could ask for. Trepkos was right. The spore could explain Trepkos's dementia. Fungi often contain alkaloids that can affect the nervous system. There you go. Yeah, but well, what about us? I mean, we weren't exposed. We don't know that. Agent hey, Mulder? Tell them it's a biological agent of unknown origin. Yeah. That's affirmative. Standing by. What he's found could change everything we understand about the origin and evolution of life. He's dangerous, Mulder. He's already killed two men. Then I have to find out why. So what do you need? Directions, contour map, USGS survey, anything that can help me get here. So you're finally going to go after Trepkos? And you won't find it with any map either. Well, how will I find it? You won't. Why are you so sure? Not without a guide. A guide. Yeah, a guide. Look, I've what, been like up here you? for almost a year. I spent months in those caves. How far does the cave extend? Breathing all that it's shit done. in. Three quarters of a mile to the crater rim. What the hell? What's that flare? Oh, well, that seems good. Your gun. Back. It's not him I'm trying to kill. I get it, man. He's trying to kill what's in him. I think they all may have this. They've all been exposed. But unless these spores are ingested or inhaled by the host organism immediately upon their release, they become harmless. Oh. Effectively dead. I thought you might like to know, chances are good that none of us were infected. Firewalker carries something back to the surface. Erickson thought it was some sort of rock, so I told him to pulverize it for analysis. Erickson released the spore? Yeah. He discovered a new life form. By the time I realized what was happening, they were already changing. Spore grew in each of them until it became... What do you mean? You destroyed your work, transmitting equipment. You killed Pierce, so no one could leave. No I'm trying to stop it going out. out. Forever doing that. Wherever it is, it wants out. Oh! Scully! I'm okay, I'm okay. Erickson was the original host. When the fungus shed its spores, everyone was at ground zero except for Trekos. Did you find him? Oh, yeah. We have two survivors, Agent Scully and myself. Yeah. Copy that. Is he seven minutes. Mulder, what are you doing? What do you think he's doing? And then I want to question him. It's all over, Scully. Yeah. 
Scully and I are in the third day of a month-long quarantine, yeah. undergoing level four decon procedures. Again. All our specimens and field notes were confiscated by the military biohazard corps prior to our evacuation. Of course they were. Their presence is delayed for an indefinite period, the arrival of the USGS data retrieval team. All access points to that volcano have been sealed off by army engineers. Damn. Firewalker, however, was recovered. Though its sensory and locomotive systems were found to be irreparably damaged, mine stands as the only record. That was, that was quite interesting. Okay, so episode nine. That that was. It felt similar to a couple of other episodes, like the one in Alaska, which reminded me of the thing, and the one in the forest with the trees, where they were exposed to something because they'd gone looking for a research team or group of people in the area who had either vanished without a trace or had sent out some sort of distress call. So, nothing will ever come of this. A sulfur-based life form living inside a volcano. <laughs> like I said, in commentary, you know, the Earth's been here an awful long time. We've not been on it that long as regards the lifespan of the planet. So who's to say what went before and how? And that at some point down the line, something changed, something triggered. It couldn't it could have even been some sort of um astrological event. It could have been a comet that brought it here. Uh, that, that brought us here. But at some point carbon-based life to once took over on this planet and all our scientific knowledge and evidence as far as we as far as back as we can go with history and everything or you know with archaeologists digs and stuff all surround carbon-based life forms and everything that lives on this planet now from humans to animals to insects to microscopic stuff doesn't mean it was always that way I really enjoyed that. So this guy, I mean, he went off his meds, but at the same time, he knew he was staring down the barrel here as to what he'd discovered. And like he said, by the time I was so caught up in the work and I realized what the hell was going on, it was too late. And now the military are gonna seal that off forever. There's gonna be no more investigations into going into side volcanoes, at least not in that area in case anything like that ever were to happen again. But I really enjoyed that. That was good. It, it was a variance on the theme of the other couple. I don't know who that was going past. <laughs> um, but it was still really enjoyable. They're in decon for a month again. First case back for Scully, and she has to deal with that. So, um, an X-File without doubt a form of alien life but not really alien because it's indigenous but unknown phenomena and we'll leave it at that shall we <laughs> and it's going to remain that way because we're that to get out <laughs> game over <laughs> right um i will be back with episode 10 next i'm enjoying this season thoroughly and especially now we've got scully back uh, and hopefully we can we can progress further down the line. I just feel that was a that was a difficult case for her to come back to after just going through what she's been through and survived what she has to almost think as though you've been infected with something else again. Damn. I mean, working on the X Files is damn dangerous if nothing else and it's not always people who are the ones who are creating the danger sometimes it's something you don't know anything about right uh if you want to watch this in full length don't forget it will be available on both youtube for channel members and on patreon the link for patreon will be in the description and if you want to watch it 
here right on the channel you can do so by clicking the join tab and selecting a wolf channel membership and the episodes are posted twice a week on the members community tab and that's enough plug-in from me if you enjoyed the video by all means give it a thumbs up if you're not already subscribed and you're enjoying my blast through the x-files by all means hit that sub i would very much appreciate it and i will see you for episode 10 next till then guys thanks for watching see you next time Don't